Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Fitness Geek. Uh, as you have seen in my previous videos, we have been doing a lot of, uh, you know, uh, demos on Terraform, uh, on infrastructure as a code, how to how to deploy them uh, via Azure DevOps pipelines, and uh, how to have the DevSecOps approach. So you check your code before you actually push it in, and you have the tests done. So to identify all the vulnerabilities in your code, the you know the issues that you might have pushed it into your repo, so it gets checked, checked and flagged, and then you fix it. So all those things we have been doing in the past few weeks. Uh, today we are uh, going to talk about the branching strategy. As if you as this, as you see in uh, on the screen, uh, this is the diagram that I have created. Uh, it is it is the approach that we will be taking uh, in our Terraform. Uh, infrastructure as a code uh, repos uh, so this is a branching strategy which will help us avoid lots of issues uh, in terms of the merge conflicts that you would have seen uh, with the git flows that uh, that generally generally you end up having lots of you know long living branches and yeah so you always end up having a lot of mess that needs to be you know uh, cleaned later so to avoid that uh, we are trying to implement the trunk based development so uh, every every feature branches uh, that you create will be coming out of your main and you make sure that those feature branches or the hotfixes or whatever uh, resource branches, the new resource that you push or the changes that you want are very short lived. Uh, so you always pull from the main branch. You just have the main branch. There is no develop branches. Uh, you create your feature branch. You work on it. You push it into the uh, you know uh, the remote repo uh, that you create a PR request that PR request gets validated it gets merged into your main once it's merged into your main uh, it runs your you know it gets uh, like CI CD takes over and it gets built and then deployed uh, at each environment you can have your approval gates and all those things but for today we are just talking about uh, how to create a uh, this this particular uh, branching strategy in your Azure DevOps for your Terraform infrastructure as a code. So, so without any delay, let's jump into our demo. This is our main branch. This is the last demo that we did. Uh, this is we are just going through our branch policies. We only had one branch that was main. If you see, if you enable any of these policies the branch the main branch will not be deleted i mean you will not be able to delete it and changes must be made via a pull request so let's add this policy require a minimum number of viewers i'll add just one you can allow the requesters to approve their own changes so do have a go at the branch policies for your main branch to protect your branch so this is how you actually protect your branch from direct mergers Let's go back to our Visual Studio, do a get, get status. Let's first pull all the changes from the main branch. This is one of the best practices. Every time you start to work on a branch, you should make sure you have all the changes from the remote branch. So you do a git pull. We are already up to date. Let's create a new branch. Let's call it feature underscore add storage account. What we're going to do is we have created a branch out of the main branch. And we will just create one config file, which will be for storage account. Let me select my remote branch origin and let's publish this. If we go back to our Azure DevOps and do a quick refresh, we should be able to see the new branch has been pushed correctly. Feature underscore add storage account. Now let's make our necessary changes. So you are a developer, you pulled the main, you wanted to add a storage account. So you quickly create the storage account.tf and just 
this is my code I already had the code I'm just pasting it over for this demo you make the changes you saved it you stage it and then you just give the message for the comment once committed you will need to sync the changes to your Azure DevOps remote branch what at the behind hindsight it just does a git pull and a push if you do a refresh you will see our branch has been updated let's create a pull request go and click at the create pull request give the title the title has already been taken from our last commit fill this particular form with all the information that it needs you can give the description of your changes so the person who actually reviews your PR will be able to see what all changes you have made just by the PR and then he can review the files whether the, all those changes have been correctly done we have created the PR and since we added our branch policy that a minimum review, one reviewer is required you will see in our PR the merge has been stopped and you will see the message at least one reviewer must approve so in that case if no one approves it or you know if you have not added an approver you cannot complete this merge so you approve it or someone from your team approves it and then you complete the merge if you see it is merging our pull request so our feature branch is getting merged into the main branch now let's create a new branch first let's check out the main let's pull the changes from our remote main so our local main is updated now let's create a new branch for a PR validation step a PR validation step is actually a pipeline that will run when you create a pull request the, the branch I mean the the build that it does or the pipeline it runs will be something that you put in for validation to make sure that whatever you are pushing is not gonna break your changes you can do a syntax syntax check in that you can actually run your terraform uh, state i mean terraform configuration to check the plan it generates so let's create a branch named add underscore pr validation let's create a pr validation yaml file this yaml file will be used to create create a pr validation pipeline this pipeline will be run every time a PR is created or a pull request is created I'll just do a quick copy paste of our actual pipeline I've pasted it let me just push it In my PR validation, I'm just doing a quick check of uh, a Terraform validate and just generating the plan. You can do the same, just create a plan for your you know new branch. So you will be able to see what it would be creating and then merge it. We have updated our PR validation branch.
let's go ahead and check our branch policies for the main because we need to add so I'll show you where you need to add your you know branch uh, PR validations build validation or PR validation so this this is the code that will be run pre-merging so here you can point to the pipeline that you want to run before the PR is completed and if that pipeline fails it will not merge so if uh, so we need to first create our PR validation or build validation pipeline so let's go back to our pipelines let's create a new pipeline From our existing YAML, we have the PR validation YAML. Click continue, review your pipeline. Everything is all right. I mean, this is just a demo, so I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna stress on what exactly our YAML is doing. But uh, yeah, I'll share this repo so you can have a look. We are doing the check of uh, the Terraform validate and just checking out the plan. This is the pipeline that we have created. Let's edit the name. Not a very good name. Fitness key underscore hyphen IAC number one. Number one. Let's go and check all the pipelines and rename our pipeline let's name it PR validation and then save it right so this will only run when a PR or a pull request is created but we need to add that in our main branch policies go to your branch policies scroll down in your build validation click on the PR validation pipeline you can check all the other settings that's available but for us we are good let's just go back let's create a pull request Once you create a pull request, now you will see other than the approver, there is one more step called PR validation build pipeline has already started running. So the build is in progress. There is an optional coverage status check queued for PR validation. That's optional, so doesn't matter. But the required step is for this PR validation pipeline to complete successfully. If it fails, in case it fails, your pull request will not complete. So you need to make sure that your build validation pipeline runs successfully. This is our PR validation pipeline running. Check off static code analysis has completed. Our Terraform validate is currently running. And we are all set. We have successfully protected our main branch. We have made sure the pull requests are validated before merging into main. So now you're ready to collaborate with other developers the team members you will never uh, you know end up having a huge mess where you don't know who created what and then you run into issues with merge conflicts so the first two steps or the first two stages of our PR validation have completed successfully. 
currently our plan apply dev which actually is just plan we are not doing the apply is currently running you can go ahead and review your entire steps just just to you know make sure that you understand what's happening and that's all I mean uh, we have completed our entire branching strategy for Terraform infrastructure as a code once this PR validation pipeline completes we should be able to merge our branch into the main so it has so our PR validation step has completed let's go back to our pull requests this was our last pull request now if you see the required checks succeeded only approver was pending I have approved it and now we can complete it this was our PR validation step we have received the email that the build succeeded let's go back to our pull request we have approved it already so let's just complete it you can delete the branch it's always good practice to keep minimum branches in your remote So you don't have a mess that we have that's that's the trunk based development so we have completed the merge successfully and if you had ci cd enabled on your main branch it would have already kicked your main uh, pipeline so if you see it has already kicked in so we are all good our CI CD is ready now, if you found this video useful or helpful do please subscribe like and share this video uh, I've been trying really hard to create some real-life real-time uh, scenarios and create videos out of it so please do support and help me grow thank you